Welcome to the Daily Bible for Kids podcast. The date is January the 19th. My name's Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. Everyday kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today we're back in the book of Genesis. You know, Jacob hadn't seen Esau, his brother, in a long time, and he was scared. Would Esau still be angry about the birthright and the blessing that Jacob stole? Let's read and find out from Genesis 32. Then Jacob sent messengers ahead to his brother Esau, who was living in the region of Seir, near the land of Edom. He told them, Give this message to my master Esau. Humble greetings from your servant Jacob. Until now I was living with Uncle Laban, and now I own cattle, donkeys, flocks of sheep and goats, and many servants, both men and women. I have sent these messengers to inform my lord of my coming, hoping that you will be friendly to me. After delivering the message, the messengers returned to Jacob and reported, We met your brother Esau, and he's already on his way to meet you with an army of four hundred men. Jacob was terrified at the news. He divided his household, along with the flocks and herds and camels, into two groups. He thought, if Esau meets one group and attacks it, perhaps the other group can escape. Then Jacob prayed, O God of my grandfather Abraham and God of my father Isaac, O Lord, you told me return to your own land and to your relatives, and you promised me I will treat you kindly. I am not worthy of all the unfailing love and faithfulness you have shown to me, your servant. When I left home and crossed the Jordan River, I owned nothing except a walking stick. Now my household fills two large camps. O oh Lord, please rescue me from the hand of my brother Esau. I am afraid that he is coming to attack me, along with my wives and children. But you promised me. I will surely treat you kindly, and I will multiply your descendants until they become as numerous as the sands along the seashore, too many to count. Jacob stayed where he was for the night. Then he selected these gifts from his possessions to present to his brother. Two hundred female goats, twenty male goats, two hundred ewes, twenty rams, thirty female camels with their young, forty cows, ten bulls, twenty female donkeys, and ten male donkeys. He divided these animals into herds and assigned each to different servants. Then he told his servants, Go ahead of me with the animals, but keep some distance between the herds. He gave these instructions to the men, leading the first group. When my brother Esau meets you, he will ask, Whose servant are you? Where are you going? Who owns these animals? You must reply, They belong to your servant Jacob, but they are a gift for his master Esau. Look, he's coming right behind us. Jacob gave the same instruction to the second and third herdsmen and to all who followed behind with herds. You must say the same thing to Esau when you meet him, and be sure to say, Look, your servant Jacob is right behind us. Jacob thought, I will try to appease him by sending gifts ahead of me. When I see him in person, perhaps he will be friendly to me. So the gifts were sent on ahead while Jacob himself spent the night in the camp. Then Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming with his four hundred men. He divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and his two servant wives. He put the servant wives and the children in front, Leah and her children next, and Rachel and Joseph last. Then Jacob went on ahead, and he approached his brother. He bowed to the ground seven times before him. Then Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they both wept. Wow. I don't think things could have gone better. Knowing that Esau had a right to be mad, Jacob was afraid of what Esau would do to him and to his family. To deal with his fears, Jacob prayed for protection and God answered him. God kept Jacob and his entire family safe. When we are fearful of someone or something, we need to pray too and ask God to keep us safe. God protected Jacob and he'll protect us too. Jesus said this in John chapter 14, verse 27. I am leaving you a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Well, there you have it. We don't need to be troubled or afraid because God is with us and he's for us. 
Well, my friends, we have done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible, and I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, I fully intend to be here. Until that time, let's go forward in his joy. Let the Lord's joy be our strength. And remember this, that you are loved. No doubt about it. All right, I'll talk to you again soon. You take care. Bye-bye.